to be able to express an art, one needs to learn a craft. So cinematography is a combination of writing with light and writing with movement, so using those tools as a principal means for expressing visual mood, creating emotions that are not there. What I like to do is make the scene so clear, so transparent, what the mood is, just through the look, just through the choice of lens, through the composition, through the lighting, that people don't even have to open their mouths to say the blah, blah, blah. You already know what you're supposed to feel. First of all, you have to understand what you're trying to do, what your intentions are. You have to understand what's the best, most efficient way to execute them. So a cinematographer has to understand they're a leader, they're a team leader, and they're leading gaffers and grips and camera departments in the process of producing this film. You have to work with people, the way you interface with them, the way you get them to feel comfortable, whether it be an actor, whether it be a director or a producer. You are doing things with cameras, you are setting lenses, you are putting camera positions, you are choosing filters and film stocks, but all that comes from the need of expressing a human desire through a film. And so you have to understand what the tone is, what the emotion is, why you're trying to do this, and then the proper tools and way of executing. Images are all about telling stories. So I see pictures in my head and I talk to my director and we define a visual path for the story, the evolutions, the tones, how we control things and present a world that we help represent this and tell the story properly. And also don't trust yourself, so tilt it around a bit because it's... What I try and do with the students specifically is help them understand things that I didn't understand, that I had to learn to understand, and that no one explained to me. One of the essence of cinematography is that it's a self-trained discipline. You have to ask the questions, you have to look for the answers until it makes sense to you. Not someone else, not the other guy across the room, not the other part of us, no, it has to make sense to you to work to tell stories. So you have to understand color balance, you have to send lights, you have to understand lensing characteristics, film stock how it works, shutter angle how it works, digital cameras, HD cameras, Genesis cameras, all those kind of things mixed together because the evolution of technology is changing every second, not every hour, not every day, every second. If you're behind the camera, you're the author of the image being made of that camera. And so you better be happy about what you're seeing, you better like what you're seeing because if you don't, you have time to change it and you have to change it. Every cinematographer is judged on their worst shot, not on their best shot, on their worst shot. Cinematography 1 trains you in the essences, in the different parts of the discipline. Cinematography 2 is more about mastering the craft, and Cinematography 3 as well, having learned the craft, break the rules, because that's going to look cool. If you repeat the rules, you might as well be in a bank. <laughs>